Hello friends. Today we're in central Ohio, Madison County to be specific, in a town called London. I'm meeting some friends for coffee before we go on a adventure for today. Welcome. Hanging out with these two guys for a little while today. Starting the day in this really cool coffee shop. It's coffee and bicycles. It's pretty yeah. cool. This guy might go, and we had a great conversation. Yeah, we've got some beans all over the couple It's a cool place. Roger. I'll look this way, Roger. <laughs> Love ha seeing these old friends hanging out. It's always, it's always good seeing you guys. It's good to see you. Giving them a tour of the Vanessey. Roger gave me a gift. Check it out. He, he thought the Vanessey needed some more color. done hanging just yet. We've got a cool adventure ahead. And the old courthouse. I used to work there. I've been right up there, right behind the clock. Yeah. See, Ron and Roger are two men in my circle of wisdom, I call them. I keep Keep some older gentlemen around that are wiser than me. I can rely on for different things in life. And these two guys have been here for a long time. Well, Roger had to go along, do some other things. But Ron and I are hanging out right now. He's showing me something here that he did. I'll tell you more about it. I'll let you hear him tell you. I'm here at Oak Hill Cemetery with Ron. Check this out. They're all Civil War soldiers. Correct. And these small ones. Footstones. Footstones. For these right here. Huh. There was one in here that is a either a 15 or a years old. So Ron, these were all pretty much black and you cleaned them. Yes, yes. So. We, it took a, a, about a month, maybe a little longer, and we did this. Uh, it's been three years ago since we did it, but we cleaned them, uh, we straightened them. Um, I don't recall if there was any repair work that was needed. I don't believe there was any repair work, but a lot of them had fallen over and uh, we put them straight up again and cleaned them. These aren't the only gravestones that Ron's worked on. You've done a lot of this. Yeah, we've done a lot of a lot of headstones, a lot of uh, a lot of work. Um, we use a product called B2. It's uh, endorsed by the National Parks Association. It's it's a non-harmful product to the stone. So and you just put it on, and then after a while, it basically it up. we we wet them down and uh, then spray it on let it sit for about 15 minutes and take a very soft bristle brush begin from the bottom working your way up rinse down and then we just cover it again with the spray and leave it and uh, it turns over time uh, it takes sometimes they're instantaneous sometimes it takes three or four weeks for them to look like this again wow i bet it's cool thinking about the lives of all these people that you're cleaning these stones for yeah, it, huh? it, it's really interesting. I mean, as I was working, especially on this one with a 16-year-old, I, I thought about that. I mean, 16 is so young. And I, I don't know if it's a little strange maybe, but I, I talked to him and said, you know, I remember and thank you for your service and would work the stone. And, uh, yeah. This is cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. This guy up here, he was, he was really corroded. He was in bad shape.
I love these. Well, this isn't a graveyard. This is a cemetery, right? Yes. I love walking around these cemeteries and graveyards, and especially here, where these sites look. They they're so old, but they look brand new because of you know modern technology and people like Ron and our friend Roger. This is really cool. He actually died in Virginia at uh, T A L L Y Hospital, West Virginia. Eighteen years old. This is at the back of the cemetery. It's actually an open Bible, supposedly. And that's what it looked like before, and there's the after. And I'll take you back there and show you that one. And then coming back and we sprayed the D2 a few more times, and you can see it's starting to come back already. I need to spray it down again. In the background, I noticed this structure. I thought it was like a mausoleum or something. It's not. But you said this building was used for a it was sort of like a special purpose. Um, it, especially in the wintertime when they could not bury the body. Everything was dug by hand. And the body would be put in there temporarily until they could actually dig the, the grave. Wow. Well, Ron and I are not done yet. We are heading off to another location. I'm gonna go into the local town of West Jefferson, my hometown, to a cemetery with more Civil War soldiers and maybe some older ones in there. Let's go check it out. It's been a long time since I've been back to my hometown of West Jefferson, Ohio. I wanted to spend a little bit of time here reminiscing, seeing what had changed. I thought a good place to start would be well, the start of the town, the original town of West Jefferson, New Hampton, and the location of the oldest cemetery in the area. I'm here in front of the Hampton Cemetery. This is the location of the original downtown of New Hampton, what later became known as West Jefferson, about a quarter mile behind us here. This location now is one of the most historical around the area as it holds the remains of many heroes gone before us, Civil War soldiers and before. The earliest grave that I found in here was from 1812. This is a really cool place and it's right across the street from what used to be the West Jefferson Memorial Middle School and Fry Elementary right here. Well, that was taken down years ago, but my memories still exist. It says here on this plaque that Samuel Jones and Samuel Sexton, the two founders of West Jefferson, are buried here along with the remains of the families who first settled this wilderness. I love history and you all know that I love going around and visiting, paying respects to those gone before us in cemeteries all over the world and country. Well, this one is specifically interesting to me because these are people that went on before me that lived in my hometown and knew the same streets and same buildings that I knew, that I know. This is very cool. Mary died in 1858, her 70th year. Ron and I were looking at this very large and very old headstone. 
surface down here, you can't even see it. There's words etched in. You can't tell what they are, it's so dirty. Twenty-seven years old. Eighteen fifteen. Wow. Most of you would know this area by the ox roast. It's very popular and happens every fall here in West Jeff. But you probably didn't know that right across from where the ox roast actually happens is this field full of history. I'm really walking around to, to find the gravesite of the founder of West Jefferson. There is definitely a, a difference between the old section of the cemetery and the new section. And it turns out the old section of the cemetery is actually the the downtown of New Hampton. This was this was where the hustle and bustle was. A very interesting history right around us. And the whole time me growing up, I knew that the cemetery was here and. In fact, I remember one time having, a couple times having uh, school out here in the in the cemetery, and the teachers would walk us through and you know, talk about some of the some of the history. Really enjoy this. It's very peaceful out here. Very nice day. As you know, Ron does this. He cleans these grave sites for people, and we're looking around at some of these these really old ones and wondering. Uh, how some of them stay so clean. This one's from 1863 and it looks nearly brand new unless somebody came out and cleaned it but you would assume it would be standing upright and properly affixed but it's not. A lot of these gravestones are broken but well, the broken ones are even taken care of okay and they're mostly stacked properly and still available for you to pay your respects. The house I grew up in here in West Jeff was built in the 1840s, not sure exactly what year. And I wonder how many people are in this cemetery that lived in my house or were friends with the people that lived in my house over those years. It's always been fascinating to me to think about that. Who has crossed the threshold of that front door besides myself and my family and my friends? I don't know. Yeah, that it says Jones. Ron, this is really cool walking around checking out these grave sites with you. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I always yeah. enjoy it coming out to places like this and looking around. Yeah, you see a lot of this though, cleaning and Yeah, we do. Yeah. So you're still doing this for people? Um, I will on a volunteer basis. Yeah. I don't have a business doing it anymore. Yeah, well. It's possible, friends. You can take care of a loved one's graves gravesite, their gravestone, long after they have gone, as you see here. A lot of these graves are like nearly 200 years old. Yes. This is really cool. You don't usually see this, especially in Florida. You don't see grave sites this old, but this is really cool. Well, thanks, Ron. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today, friends. If you like what you're seeing, hit like, hit subscribe, and join me in my next video where I explore more of my hometown of West Jefferson, Ohio.